Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we have the Alzai H240 all-in-one CPU liquid cooler, and we are gonna put it to the test. We will install it to a Core i7-9700K, which is an 8-core processor, and we're gonna compare it with an air cooler from Be Quiet and the NZXT Kraken X62 AIO liquid cooler. We're gonna compare noise levels and temperatures and try to figure out if a cheap liquid cooler might be a good investment. Now, at any point during the video, feel free to check out the links down in the video description. Before we dig into the benchmarks and see how the cooler performs, let's first take a look at the cooler itself. So, the radiator is made of aluminum and the cooling block is made of copper. Now, this is an all-in-one liquid cooler, meaning that you don't need any extra equipment to run this. Everything is included in the box. The installation is a bit of a trouble, but the included guide makes it actually very simple. And once you plug in the three-pin pump connector along with the two included 120 millimeter fans, the motherboard controls the pump and fans so you can fine-tune the fan curves to your liking. This will allow the system to automatically rev up the fans when they need to which will keep your whole PC cool and quiet at all times. Now, before we look at the first test I did, I just want to add that the whole installation went actually very smooth. One minor thing I noticed with the installation was that the sleeved hoses started folding because of the angle of the CPU mount. Once the water block and the radiator were in place, everything worked brilliantly. The radiator measures 27 millimeters in thickness, and the fans add another 25 millimeters, so you need to make sure you have at least 52 millimeters of clearance between the mounting and the motherboard. If you decide to mount this in the top in order for the radiator to fit. Now, one thing worth noting is that it may seem like it has RGB lighting, there is nothing happening, they just light up and have this RGB effect, but there are no way of controlling the lighting whatsoever. It would be really nice though if you could control them in order to pair it with an RGB setup and sync it with the rest of your components, although it makes sense for a budget setup with no RGB controllers. Alright, so let's see first the temperatures. With the Be Quiet Pure Rock Cooler on idle, the CPU runs at 8 degrees above ambient on average. While using the Halo H240, it runs at 5 degrees Celsius above ambient. Under synthetic stress, using the air cooler and running for about 20 minutes, we see a peak of 59 degrees. Now, using the AIO liquid cooler, we managed to drop the temperature about 9 degrees, reaching a peak of 50 degrees. Now, to make things more interesting, I installed also the NZXT Kraken X62 on the CPU, just to see how it compares to one of the best 280mm AIO liquid coolers on the market. We see that the Kraken X62 managed to keep the temps also at 5 degrees above ambient while idling, and at an average of 41 degrees Celsius under synthetic load. The results are to be expected as the Kraken X62 is a 280mm AIO cooler and costs almost three times more than the Halo H240. I should note here that under gaming conditions, you probably wouldn't have your CPU reaching these temperatures. Now, when we look at noise levels, we see that they are pretty close to each other. The Be Quiet air cooler was the quietest of them all, but that's due to having only one fan spinning. All coolers were tested at maximum performance, so that's the highest noise levels you should have. 
Well, if you've got about $70 to spend, I think the Halo H240 is a cooler worth considering and can be a very good solution, particularly when using smaller PC cases where clearance is a common issue. There are also a 120 and a 360 mm variant, with the 360 mm standing out as one of the cheapest 360 mm AIO liquid coolers on the market, costing about $80. So make sure to check that out. You will find all links in the video description. Now, I want to thank Intertech for sending me this AIO cooler for testing. As always, I am trying to be 100% unbiased when I make these reviews, so it's up to you to decide which one makes more sense to buy. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, have an awesome day.